Good morning, Adidas. Exos at home. Welcome to another week of Moving at Home. You are joining me here for this 30 minute body weight metabolic session. We have a fun day planned for today, as always, that space within your living room, uh, maybe a towel handy, water. We are going to be moving a lot today. Um, main focus today is going to be a squat, so we're going to prepare the body for that big primary circuit. Um, the beginning part of today's class. I will be doing with you. So I'll be doing the pillar prep, movement prep with you. And then as we get into our two main circuits, there will be a voiceover. So just be prepared for that. And beyond that, let's get moving. So we're gonna be on the ground. <coughs> Back is flat, legs are extended. Okay, all we're gonna do is drive that knee to chest, give me a nice knee hug, all the way into that torso, extend back. Five reps on each leg. One of the most important parts of the workout today is all, as, as usual, the preparation. Okay, so we want to prepare the body to be able to move pain-free, of course, but also to be able to get the most out of our ranges on those big movements, okay? So from here, drive those knees up to a 90 degree angle, toes are pointed, okay, not out towards the body. From here, we're gonna extend the hands to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Right hand's gonna go back, left leg is gonna go out. We're gonna do this for five reps. Okay, we're gonna switch it up, left hand out, right leg now extends. Opposites are extending out nice and straight. Five times, lighting up that core, trying to get those hip flexors loose this morning. And then from there, both hands, both legs, same time, five reps. Even if you just get to here with the legs, no big deal. Wherever you're at this morning. Good. All right, let's go ahead and lean it over to the side. The knees now come up above the belly button. Now my bottom hand goes on the top of my knee, reaching forward, okay, driving that shoulder forward. Reach, 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 and then as I come across my chest and open up that spine and rotate, hand stays on the chest and I just drive my shoulder down, and then I just repeat that movement over and over five times. Okay, open, close. You wanna to try to keep your knees connected to the ground and connected to each other. Don't let them lift off as you rotate. All right, five on each side. Starting to get a little bit more mobile here. Good. All right. Now we, we just got mobile on the spine. Now we're going to combine that with some stability. So legs out straight like we're doing a side plank. Draw those heels in. Now I'm gonna come up on off my knee and elbow, like I'm doing a side plank from knee and elbow, draw my hips back, reach forward, and then row up, five on each side. Switch it up, other side, same thing, legs out, extended, off of now elbow and knee, so tuck those heels in, same thing, I'm coming up, like I'm almost doing a regressed side plank, and I'm dropping my hips back towards the wall and reaching off to the opposite direction with the hands. Row up, five each side, draw those hips forward. Really try to push the hips forward at the top, punch that knee through the ground, five on each side. Awesome, let's get to a half kneeling position. Toe is gonna be curled, Knee is down, remember that big line from knee all the way to shoulder, all in one line here. Draw my hips forward, hands are going to come out, elbows extended, pull that band back, rotate over the knee. Okay, be another angle here, so pull the band back, rotate over the knee, keeping those arms extended, keeping that upper back pinched. Five on each side. As I go to pull that band back, or that imaginary band back, I push my hips forward at the same time, charge forward, and rotate. Same thing, opposite side. 
Pull back, rotate over the knee. Good, go ahead and stand up. We're starting to get a little bit more mobile in our body, starting to get the core temp up a little bit. Let's continue that movement and let's sink into that big muscle here, that glute. Let's pretend, okay, that we have sand in our living room and we're trying to really indent that footprint into the sand. So stand on one leg, I'm gonna stand on my left leg, sink that foot nice and heavy into the ground. Sink, 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 nice and low. Draw the knee up to chest. Okay, recover that leg. And then just shift to the other side. Okay. Same thing. Pull up. Nice and tall. And sink. If you lose your balance just like that, just recover with that foot. And then keep going through the motions. With those motions, remember, we want to be under control, sliding from side to side, sinking down into that leg, staying nice and low, and popping up. Okay. Sink down. Nice and low, and pop up. Five on each side, team. That is our big number here for this preparation. Good. All right, we're going to get into some shoulder and core activation, as well as a little bit of dorsiflexion and some ankle ring. So we're going to reach the hands down to the ground, walk them out nice and long. Okay, extend past the head and then creep the hand, or sorry, creep the feet to the head, stand up, turn around, do it again for five different times. Get into a rhythm. Last one for me. And stand up nice and tall. Very good. So now that our core is warmed up, our shoulders are warmed up, we're going to try a little squat mobile. Get those feet shoulder width apart. Soft knees. Reach the hands to the ground. Drive the knees out. Reach right hand, left hand, and stand. Okay, so we're going to do that five times. Again, I'll give you another angle. Hands reach down to the ground. So I'm doing the work with my hips. As I come down, I pull my hips underneath me. Drive my knees away, right hand, left hand, stand five times, reach out, drive away, right, left, stand. Five times, go ahead and do that. Super important that we get that squat down today, that is going to be a big part of our day. We're going to move into now our first circuit. For this next section, we're going to be doing Tabata, which is 8 rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off. We're going to be splitting it into two different movements, the seal jack and alternating lateral lunge. As you notice with the seal jack, the arms come out nice and wide, um, horizontal of the shoulders, and the feet come out at the same time, similar to a jumping jack. That is movement number one. Then once that 20 seconds is up, you'll rest for 10 seconds and then go into your alternating lateral lunge. Try to Plant that foot nice and wide, horizontal of your body. Sit into that chair and pop back up. For this next circuit, we're going to try 100 squats or as many as you can accomplish within 8 minutes. So you have 8 minutes to do those 100 squats. Every time you take a break, you're going to do 5 hand walk plus a shoulder tap. So left to right shoulder, right to left shoulder walking back and forth five times and then you're going to do a bilateral dead bug on your back extending arms and legs at the same time for five reps and then continue your squats. I split this up into four rounds of 25 and then of course taking those breaks five and five on the hand walk and dead bug.
For the regen portion, I use the pigeon stretch, trying to get more internal rotation and then also rotating the spine left and right, about five each side, and then switch legs. And then I went to that quadruped position, reaching to my right side with my left hand and also to my left side with my right hand, trying to get a big last stretch in that quadruped position. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout, have fun, and I will see you guys all next time. Aloha.